I'm delighted to join you today to share some thoughts about the future of higher education. After eight years at the University of Utah, including three as president, I have assumed a new role with Strata Impact. As president of Strata Impact, I will drive Strata's national research, philanthropy, policy, and thought leadership to improve students' college, degree completion, and career connections. I'm excited about this new opportunity, which will allow me to share on a broad scale the innovative approaches to access and completion developed at the University of Utah and also at other colleges and universities. A year into the novel coronavirus pandemic, it is more clear than ever how important completing a degree is and will continue to be in order to secure employment. At the same time, we know that stronger partnerships with industry will be crucial in ensuring that employees, employees either have the skills they need or are able to easily upskill their knowledge base in order to excel in their jobs. We also know that high quality online course delivery has become exponentially more important over the past year and will continue to be a vital pathway to education in the future. So let me give you an overview of four lessons we learned at the University of Utah during the pandemic that I believe will shape higher education going forward. I'd also like to share an example of a community engagement program that successfully pivoted and gain new momentum during the pandemic, creating a model for future student community relationships. And I'll close by sharing some final thoughts about the future of higher education. So lessons learned. Last spring, we made a significant and accelerated transition to remote working and learning online. Within the span of a few days, our faculty and our staff and our students enacted drastic changes to continue our core mission of teaching and learning. At the same time, we embraced our role as a leading research institution to help solve and respond to a global crisis. The key lessons we've learned throughout this pandemic will help us construct a vibrant, equitable, and affordable future for higher education. The first lesson is how imperative it is that higher education accelerates the use of technology to enhance learning, increase access, and promote college completion. But the move to online education here in Utah, as well as other parts of the country, exposed a very real persistent digital divide. We found that many students did not have laptops, lack reliable internet service, and do not have the technical skill sets needed to engage in online learning. Some faculty and staff who moved to remote work and online teaching had similar issues. With the help of our IT, library staff, and other campus entities, we created hotspots and laptop loaner programs, but we know that not all students will were able to continue their studies, which has emphasized the need for us to continue our efforts to address the digital divide. The second lesson learned, highlighted really, is the crucial role that higher education plays in supporting and driving economic vibrancy in our communities. One way that universities can restore economic vibrancy is through reskilling and upskilling of displaced workers, making sure we are adapting to changes in workforce needs. To do that, we need much more nimble, dynamic links between the university and curricula and industry. We need short-term certificate, one-year graduate programs, and more finely focused baccalaureate programs. The need for higher education to listen and adapt to employers' needs does not compromise our broader aims of preparing educated citizens who can think, write, solve problems, innovate, and be entrepreneurial. The third lesson is that higher education can operate smarter at a number of levels. At the University of Utah, we recognize that some of the university's work can be done remotely with few, if any, negative consequences, particularly for back office functions. Going forward, this lesson will be associated with opportunities to reconsider administrative spaces and parking needs. As an institution with an academic medical center, we found a great acceleration in the use of telehealth visits for some routine patient needs. Many insurance plans now cover the cost of such appointments, again, reducing the need for space, parking, and increasing efficient interactions between patients and providers. That said, we need to be mindful of who has access to the technology that makes this possible so that we do not leave communities behind as we embrace this approach to healthcare delivery. The most powerful opportunity for a smarter university may come through partnerships and collaborations across campuses. Given significant duplication and redundancy and competition for students, funding, and prestige, 
We have a term for this at the U, one U, and we have fully embraced this concept over the past year through collaborative research teams and service delivery. I anticipate that going forward, higher education will continue to refine how to develop and support smarter, more efficient campus operations. And finally, the importance of communication has really been driven home. Information sharing, listening, and adapting plans is essential and must be constant and delivered over multiple platforms. Examples of this pervasive communication work at the U have included campus webinars, dialogue sessions, alumni and donor town halls, written messages, trans informational videos, new training materials, and a dedicated coronavirus website. But communication has still remained a challenge. This highlights the need to continue to innovate going forward. We must remember to seek new strategies for giving and giving, getting information to our stakeholders and from our stakeholders. These are the key lessons that will have a lasting impact going forward for the University of Utah, but also I believe for higher education more broadly. Now I want to mention a program at the University of Utah that has proved hugely successful in community engagement and social impact. I think this program is a model, one that will be vital going forward in connecting students and businesses, nonprofit organizations with the university. This program is the HOPE Corps. The HOPE Corps was developed in partnership with Utah Community Builders. It links small businesses, government agencies, nonprofits, and people in Utah with students who need internship and project opportunities. The Hinckley Institute at the University of Utah has facilitated this program. Students have been placed with entities that range from a small business called Brownies, Brownies, Brownies to the United Way of Salt Lake, the Ivory Foundation, Centro Hispano, Neighborhood House, and Operation My Hometown. This program allows students to provide these organizations with help with innovative solutions to issues posed by the pandemic, helping to stimulate economic recovery and service delivery. I recently spoke with two students who participated in this program. They described their experiences as meaningful and even career changing. We hear the same feedback from the organizations. The student support has been a lifeline for them in this difficult time. Even in a pandemic, our students are making a difference in their communities and having experiences that set them on a course for lifelong dedication to social impact. A few closing thoughts on the future of higher education. It is time to rethink and recommit. How can we create education that truly works equitably for learners from all backgrounds, removing long-standing barriers to access and completion and ensuring employment, stability, and upward mobility? I believe that we will see significantly greater emphasis on these issues of completion of meaningful credentials, credentials that truly transform lives both traditional community college and four-year institutions, and a host of new employer-based models, such as Grow with Google and innovative learn and earn approaches. In higher ed, we will do well to engage in change, taking an active role in our own upskilling instead of resisting a future that's already here. I'd welcome your ideas about the future of higher education and how we can do better for more learners. Feel free to send me an email at universitypresident at utah.edu. Thank you to the Sorensen Impact Center for hosting this summit and to you for taking the time to learn and to be inspired about a better future together.